Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be making thermite from scratch. We are going to need some steel wool to make some rust. To make it rust quickly we are going to need some salt, some hydrogen peroxide, some white vinegar and a bottle to mix it in. You will need about 100 milliliters of vinegar, 300 millimeters of hydrogen peroxide. and about a tablespoon of salt. You can see how almost instantly it turned the steel wool into rust. But to get it into a powder, you're gonna to have to leave the steel wool with a solution to stand for about a week. And after about a week, you can see how it's become a powder. But we're not finished yet as we have to wash the rust to get rid of the salt and other chemicals. As you can see, my dog was slightly worried if this process was going to work. After about a day when the rust has settled, you can go ahead and pour out the water. Then you will be left with the rust powder at the bottom. You can then leave the powder to dry, then it'll be ready for use. Now it's time to make our aluminium powder. I'll be using tin foil for this. You will have to repeat this process about 5 times to get a good amount of powder. Once it's full, blend the aluminium into smaller pieces. I fashioned this rock smoother out of a beans can and a toy motor. This is what will make fine aluminium powder. And like I said previously that we're going to have to repeat the blending tin foil to create enough. Add in a few marbles, turn the can on and leave for about two and a half weeks. Now after about 4 days, I'm left with this. I know it has a lot more time to go and I was looking around my garage and found some aluminium powder that I brought a while ago from a lab. The lab aluminium looks lighter in colour, I'm not sure why, but my excitement was too much and I decided to use a lab aluminium. Not that it would be better, as I've seen how the tin foil works just as well in other YouTube videos. To light the thermite, we're going to have to use something with a lot of heat, so I've decided to use some magnesium, 
You can find magnesium at your local plumbing supplier. Or you could just use a sparkler. You only need a little, so I just cut the tip of the rod. Now that I have the powders and the igniter, let's see how it burns. You're going to need two parts rust and one part aluminium. Thermite burns at about 2000 degrees Celsius, that is hotter than lava, so please be very careful and have fire protective gear near you. Now I was hoping that the thermite would burn through the bottom of the ceramic but I just cracked it. These South African pots are made really tough. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.